Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of decimal multiplication with area models. This is standard 5.3D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this is kind of a difficult problem here because they actually give us the problem and the answer. So 0.9 times 0.4 or 9 tenths times 4 tenths equals 0 0.36 or 36 hundredths. We just need to find the model that represents that. And what we have, it's kind of hard to see, but different shades of our darkness here we've got light medium and dark gray that we have to differentiate in between and we need to find the one that matches these so this is one hole right here and this is this medium darkness right here is that one hole and you see this right up here that is the light and then right there in that corner that's the dark and so this is the medium so first we need to see does it even have three different colors because that's really what we're looking for does one of these have three different colors so f let's start with f it does have three different colors and so let's take a look at this light take a look at this light here we've got one two three and then it extends into this dark because that's where it overlaps with the medium so the light and the medium overlap with the dark so we're going to call this four little boxes okay and then this medium, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight medium. It overlaps with the light to make that dark, so that's nine different boxes. So we've got four and we've got nine, which is looking good, but here's the problem with F. This four, this is 0 0.04. This is four hundredths. Look at this hundredths grid. We're trying to find four tenths. What we have here are four hundredths. Same with that nine. It's actually nine hundredths, but we're trying to find nine tenths. Big difference between nine tenths. Nine tenths is nine out of these ten rows would be completely shaded in. So what we have here is four tenths or four hundredths times nine hundredths. And it equals, you've got one overlap there. So you have 0 0.01, which isn't even correct. That number would be so small, we wouldn't even be able to round it up to one. So it at least gives us this idea of the different colors, but it just uses hundredths rather than tenths. So the answer is not F. And so when we look at that, we see that G only has two colors. So that's not going to give us anything we need. So G does give us this. You see this right here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See these nine columns? right? So this is 9 tenths or 90 hundredths. So we're good on this. That looks good, these 9 tenths. But then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've got 5 hundredths. And I'm not sure what those 500s are doing there because we're looking for 4 tenths. So really what this looks like to me is we've got a, a 90 hundredths or 9 tenths. And it looks like we're simply adding them. It's additive. And so we ended up getting 95 hundredths. The reason why I say it's adding rather than multiplying is because they don't overlap. They never make one of these little dark squares like we see up there. H, though, does. Take a look at these light rows. One, two, three, four light rows. So we're going to call that four tenths. Take a look at these medium columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine medium columns, and they overlap into this little box right here of dark. And guess what that is? If you wanted to count that, four rows of nine, it's going to make 36 hundredths. J is additive. It just adds... 3 tenths plus 6 tenths to make 9 tenths. Not what we need. Answer is H.